How y'all doing this evening? I just want to talk about my experience with Creek. I've been here for about nine months so far. And um, I basically wanted to give a good review on Creek because it's a pretty good company. When I started off, I was making 52 cents a mile but then he started having pay increase and gradually I built up to 58 cents a mile. And uh, it's pretty good depending on what state you have too. Uh, they have dedicated accounts. They get you home on the weekends. Uh, I stay in Louisiana, they have a dedicated account that pays, I think like 50 cents a mile from Dallas to Colorado uh, back during that area and then you're home on the weekends but uh, it's 80 cents less than what I'm making so I prefer to be over the road unlike Warner Warner you get paid dedicated and you don't make much OTR that, uh, it's, it's like how are you going to get OTR drives like that it's kind of backwards but my experience with Crete you know to me it's one of the one of the best mega carriers out there Um, they have a lot of automatics, but they have manuals too, you know, right now it's just a automatic, but they got manuals, but, um, I might make a switch, find some local time to get home, man. You ain't really have much life out here over the road, man. Just riding all day long. Uh, it don't bother me. I love to travel. But uh, it's time to just settle down and getting unhealthy as hell out here on this road. All the food that I eat, I need to hit the gym. Motherfucker, get out the truck and it's hot summer day like this, like a hundred and something. Unhooking the trail and everything, man. Sweating, sweating like a motherfucker. Just hold for that, man. I'm like, damn cleaning the windows my arm be so as hell i'm like damn bro i gotta get in shape bro i'm all out of shape but it um uh, i'm in uh georgia pacific uh i've been driving four years this is the first time i ever had to drop a trailer in a yard though and pick it up to load it he picks it up to load it and then he gonna bring it back to me i'm like oh shit <laughs> simple enough he told me it's gonna be quick so i ain't got a problem i stay and um, no, Iberia, Louisiana is just um, about 250 miles from here. This is my home load. But uh, after I come off of that, I'm going to do my two weeks notice. <clears throat> Make sure I get that fridge and everything else out of this truck. And that'll be the end of that. Which is some kind of way I can show y'all my uh, check stuff. I don't know how to do that shit from from no phone. I might need a laptop, but I, don't, I, I ain't too sad, too shabby about that. So let me put this shit out. This shit giving me a headache. But, but might go back to flatbed again. It'd be the third time. <laughs> Can't keep still. It is what it is. Anything but reefer and tanker. Fuck that. I got my tankers in Dortmund. I tried Snyder. That shit. I did two weeks. I said, no, sir. I'm too forgetful. Too lazy to remember that shit. But any... Y'all have any questions about it or anything? I'll let you know what's up. I'll send a different video. Um, anything y'all want to know, man, just... I'm going to answer it truthfully. Ain't no need to hide or whatnot or make a 30-minute video about this shit. Ain't got shit to talk about. I listen. I don't do a lot of talking anyway. All right, y'all.